Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the President of China Xi Jinping on the centenary of founding the Chinese Communist Party. His Majesty praised the level of this distinguished bilateral relations and cooperation and the continuous progress and prosperity they are witnessing in many fields. He stressed his constant keenness on the importance of strengthening and developing these relations and upgrading them to serve the interests of the two countries and their people, wishing the President good health and happiness and the Chinese people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya Zainal, marking the International Day of Parliamentarism. The Speaker lauded the numerous achievements attained by Bahrain under His Majesty's leadership and thanked thanks to His Majesty's support for the legislative authority since the launch of the Reform, Comprehensive and Sustainable Development March, which contributed to bringing about a qualitative leap in the Kingdom's democratic march through its adoption of principles that consolidate the state of law and institutions, which is built on modern constitutional basis. She affirmed that the constitutional amendments that stemmed from the National Action Charter had launched a new era of political and democratic reforms within the framework of a modern constitutional monarch and the rule of law on the basis of justice and transparency, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with good health and happiness and further progress and prosperity for Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh, marking the International Day of Parliamentarism. Al Saleh extended sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his constant follow-up on the work of the Shura Council in order to achieve the interests of Bahraini people and continue the democratic and progress march of the Kingdom. He asserted that celebration of this occasion is a global recognition of the pivotal role played by Parliament being among the essential pillars of democracy. He pledged that the Shura Council will continue assuming its role in strengthening the pillars of democracy, developing policies and legislation that enhance the Kingdom's progress and consolidating the principles of coexistence, tolerance and harmony in order to prioritize national interests and meet the aspirations of the Bahraini people. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with good health in Bahrain with progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of China Xi Jinping on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Communist Party of China. His Royal Highness highlighted the existing depth of bilateral relations and cooperation which continues to progress and develop across many areas. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of further strengthening and developing relations to serve the interests of both countries and their people. He extended best wishes to the President and to the Chinese people for further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of China, Li Keqiang. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya Zainal, to commemorate the International Day of Parliamentarism. The Speaker commended His Majesty's ongoing support towards Bahrain's development and progress, as well as the government's support of the legislative branch. She also commended His Royal Highness's implementation of a wide range of development initiatives, which will enhance Bahrain's position amongst other highly developed nations. The Speaker concluded the cable by expressing confidence in the the strengthened cohesion between the legislative and executive branches' ability to deliver on citizens' ambitious development aspirations. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, to commemorate International Day of Parliamentarism. The Chairman commended His Royal Highness's support for the strengthened cohesion between the legislative and executive branches, noting that this strong cooperation continues to further development and progress under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the committee's ordinary weekly meeting. He affirmed that spending on infrastructure projects in the past decade has amounted to 572 million Bahraini dinars. He affirmed that this reflects the economic growth of the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He said that the projects have yielded great economic value in a short time, along with improvements for traffic flow, safety, and connectivity. The Minister of 
Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning Engineer Assam Khalaf gave a presentation on the projects the ministry is working on as part of the government plan 2019 to 2020. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah directed the committee to study its options to fund further projects. For his part, the Minister of Works thanked Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah for his keen interest in infrastructure projects. The Under Secretary of the Cabinet Affairs Ministry, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, participated in the ninth high level virtual meeting of Arab Countries Committee that follows the implementation of 2030 on Sustainable Development Goals, chaired by Lebanon. His Highness Sheikh Isa delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has launched many initiatives to achieve sustainable development goals. The the meeting discussed a number of issues related to the eradication of hunger in the Arab region, the Arab ne Network for Science and Technology for Sustainable Development and Sustainable Financing Mechanism in the Arab region, and the achievement of sustainable development to conflict affected countries. The committee agreed to form a technical team to coordinate Arab efforts to continue the effects to confront the effects of the coronavirus pandemic on achieving sustainable development goals and to work on implementing initiatives and innovations that promote achieving sustainable development after recovery from the pandemic. Based on the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and the UAE in the field of education, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi participated in the remote forum organized by the Mohammed bin Zayed Award for Best GCC Teacher, in which a number of education ministers and officials participated. During the forum, a number of topics were discussed, including the challenges facing educational systems in the current phase, a review of the most important experiences that have been applied in Gulf countries to deal with the pandemic was also conducted. The education minister, praised the prominent role of the award in highlighting the pivotal role of teachers in the GCC and their impact on students' creativity. He also noted the importance of continuously developing the educational and digital systems in light of the increasing dependence on distance learning and electronic education. Dr. Naimi reviewed the Kingdom's model in maintaining education during the pandemic thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which enabled the Ministry to provide appropriate alternatives despite the exceptional circumstances. The participants of the forum affirmed the importance of drawing lessons from the pandemic and means of dealing with its repercussions. The Labor and Social Development Ministry has announced that all preparations have been made to begin supervision of implementation of Ministerial Edict 3 of 2013 on banning outdoor afternoon work between 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. in July and August. The decision comes within the Kingdom's keenness on protecting workers from occupational diseases and injuries, especially during the summer period, which witnesses a rise in temperature and an increase in humidity. Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil Ahmedan called on employers to implement the decision after Confirming that Bahrain is a leading figure in ensuring a secure and safe work environment for workers. The CEO of the National Health Regulatory Authority, Dr. Mariam al Jalahma, affirmed that the authority has achieved its objectives during the period of the pandemic. She affirmed the commitment to increasing the quality of its services, coping with the changes under the pandemic, and continuing to perform its duties. She said that the authority is keen on raising awareness of precautionary measures among health institutions via inspections and ongoing development of regulations. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that more than 1,056,000 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while more than 983,000 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 3,510 with 419 recoveries, 166 registered new cases and 3 deaths. 82 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 80 are contacts of active cases and 4 are travel related. The Ministry expresses thoughtful condolences for families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.